All right, this is grade four, module two, lesson four. And this is really fun because this lesson, um, students are going to start connecting the metric system to the, the place values, the, the, the number system that we already have. So metric and our number system, the beauty of the metric system is it matches our number system. So what I mean by that is, let's say, we, we know we have our, our traditional place value chart. So we have our ones, we have our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands. And we could, of course, keep going. Um, so if we were talking about um, uh, grams, so if we were to have one uh, gram, well, if we were to times that by 10, and so I'm going to put times by 10, we're going to end up with 10 grams. And then if we were to times that by 10, times by 10, we end up with 100 grams. Nothing overly dramatic here so far. But then, if we were to multiply that by 10, we would get 1,000 grams, but now we can call that 1 kilogram. So really, another way to think of this is we could take one gram times by a thousand, and you get a thousand kilograms, which is equal to one. I mean, a thousand grams, sorry. A thousand grams, which is equal to one kilogram. So there's a connection between the metric system and the, and the number system, the, the place values that we've been working with, um, oh, gee whiz, all the way since second grade. So if we were to complete this table, so you've got a smaller unit and the larger unit. And how are they connected? Well, you take the centimeters, you times by 10, I mean times by 100, and that gives you the meter. And that's why it's how many times as large? The answer is 100. So if your 100 is the larger unit and it's 100 times larger than the smaller unit, that means this is your 1's unit. You've got meters and kilometers. How are they connected? Well, a kilometer is 1,000 times larger than a meter. So we've got 1,000 right here. And now we've got a gram as our smaller unit and we're looking for something that's a thousand times bigger than a gram. Well, that's the kilogram. And then we have a one, and something that's a thousand times larger than a one, that's a thousand. And then we've got a milliliter and something that's a thousand times bigger than a, a milliliter, that's the liter. And then we have a one and a hundred thousand. And how many times as large as that? That's a hundred thousand times larger. So now we're going to fill in the missing unit in word form. So we've got 135. Well, what is that? Well, that's 100 plus 35 ones. And then uh, let's do problem C. 1,215. Well, that's 1,000 is our unit. And then 215 ones. Similarly, uh, D would be one meter and then 215 meters. And let's just do one last example on this slide. Um, let's do 2,350 grams. Well, that's equal to 12 kilograms and 350 grams. All right, on this problem, we're asked to compare. And uh, so what I'm going to do first, a couple of ways we could do it. We need to be able to compare um, units to units. And right now, on the left side, we have just milliliters. But on the right side, we have mixed units. 
So either I need to convert the left side to mixed, or I need to convert the right side to just milliliters. So let's, uh, I think, let's do that. Let's do the right. Let's convert the right side to just milliliters. So 89 liters is 89,000 milliliters plus the 353 milliliters that we already had. That gives us 89,353 milliliters. And then on the left side, we had 890,353 milliliters. And so, oh, I don't like how that's kind of mushing into each other. And so we can see that the left side is way bigger than the right side. So our alligator is going to eat the left number, the number on the left, because 890,000 is way bigger than 89,000. And our last example in this video, we're supposed to place each of these measurements on the number line. So first thing I notice is I've got zero grams here, and I've got 4,000 grams here. So that means each interval is um, a thousand. So here's a thousand grams. Another thousand gives us 2,000. Another thousand gives us 3,000 grams. So now if we're going to place these, Let's see, this one kilogram uh, plus an extra 379 grams, that's going to put us a little less than half. Here's half, so that would be one kilogram plus 500 grams. So I would say, oh, right here, that's good enough. So I'm going to call this A, so I'm going to mark it A right there. Good. So now, now let's do B. Let's call this one B. So that says 3,000 grams, so that immediately puts us way near here, and then plus 79 grams, that's barely anything, because that's essentially between here and here is 1,000 grams, and we're only going to march, move over 79 of them. So let's call that B, that's close enough, it's really barely anything. Uh, the next one, let's do it in red and let's call it letter C. We've got two grams, I mean two kilograms, plus an extra 79 grams. So that means we're going to mark it, oh that's close enough right there. And then let's do D. Let's call this D. So that's 3,579 grams. So we're already at the 3,000. That's pretty easy. Now perfectly halfway would be 500 grams, so 3,500 grams. So we know that this is a little bit bigger. So let's call that D right there. And then the last one, let's call it E, and let's do it in green. So let's call this one green, I mean E, and that's 579 grams. So that's going to put us in this range over here. We know exactly half is 500, so 579 is a little bit bigger, and let's label that E. And that is Grade 4, Module 2, Lesson 4.